Growing up where I'm from, there's two things you, you were known for. You were either good at playing football or you could fight. He trained at the local boxing club, winning the amateur Dublin boxing crown. But then I met a guy who was doing jiu-jitsu, uh, Tom Egan his name was. Tom Egan, John Kavanagh and Connor. When the three of those people collided, I knew it was going to be success. John showed us a different approach to combat sport, a different way of thinking. The life of an MMA fighter is not a glamorous one. Fighting in front of small crowds for little pay, in hopes of someday breaking into the mainstream. I told them by the time I'm 25 years of age, I will be a self-made millionaire through this game. And my father laughed in my face at that, at that time. For most, the career is short-lived and often doesn't end on the fighter's terms. Yeah, because the Irish thing is to get into a trade straight away. I was no different. As soon as uh, I finished school, I was always getting pestered. What are you doing with your life? Are you doing this, doing that? I mean, we're going yeah. to be a plumber, I'm sure. Yeah. Like, like, I've heard you were working 12 hour days, yeah. like driving two yeah. hours one way. Yeah. And... yeah, yeah, you know. I was on them building sites cold and damp, and I was like, it, that, that was not me. Connor chose to commit to a future in fighting. One that his parents scoffed at. From the start, Connor flashed the personality that would endear him to millions of fans around the world. As far as my family were concerned, as far as my mother and father were concerned, I left what was a, a safety net of a trade as a plumber to pursue a, a career in fighting. As far as they were concerned, I was just getting into a cage and fighting with some other guy. They didn't know nothing about it. No one did, really. But I knew. You know what I mean? I knew. I just saw the other day, I think you were the recognized, the most fifth most recognized athlete on earth. They must have miscounted. I'd say I'm number one in athletes. <laughs> 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 Connor what he lacked in skill and experience, he made up for in tenacity and ferociousness. Um, mixed martial arts is basically the purest form of unarmed combat known to man. It involves all, all disciplines, all uh, combat disciplines, boxing, kickboxing, wrestling, taekwondo, karate, jiu-jitsu. Um, it's just a pure combat. Connor would face off against unbeaten top 10 European fighter Joseph Duffy. They were both quick. I was learning my craft. Figuring it out. Again, Connor's lack of experience showed. That was a very sharp shot, but it looks like he could have got fast submission. I lost in 30 seconds to a knee bar, and I lost in 39 seconds to a head and arm. And he's, he tapped him. That was a very, him. very fast submission there. He landed some good shots, split the eye of Joseph Duffy, but then got caught in a submission. You learn your craft as you go. You face the feet like a cha a champion. When he faces the feet, he puts his head down and grinds. He dedicates his entire life. That's what champions do. What got me to where I am is an insane work ethic. A lot of people think they can do what I do until it's time to do what I do. Connor would take the lessons of defeat to heart and continue to remove any holes from his game. If I could describe it to, to people, it's like entering a car crash. You're going into a car crash, the shins are bare, the feet are bare. You can strike with the elbows, the knees. It's a vicious, vicious game. He would not lose another fight for nine years. Two hits of the gavel, and that was it. It was over. Connor's got ferocious power. Come on, Connor! Come on, Connor! Ah! 
his style was tactical aggression, a relentless, crowd-pleasing assault of unconventional kicks and precision targeting. For your winner by TKO victory from Mundaka. That's my 10th MMA win. Eight of those are first round TKOs and KOs. All my wins are by knockout. Give me the belt. Give me the belt. For the CWFC Featherweight Championship of the World. From Dublin, Ireland, here is Notorious Connor McGregor. Earn the shot at a, at a bona fide world title and he answered back yes how many people do I need to knock out the main thing to succeed in this game is to either be me or fight me everything else is peanuts Read through the rules listen to one side listen three listen. rounds listen. for the featherweight strap Whoa, perfect timing Conor McGregor in the grey Dave Hill in the white. Well, McGregor is going to be so fired up here, I think you could probably hit him with a truck. And he'd keep coming. Good head kick. One of the things I'm blessed with, I have many shots in my arsenal. I have many moves I can box, I can kick. I have many different weapons in my, in my, in my arsenal. A lovely jumping switch knee from Conor McGregor. The variation started to come. Moving to the back, this is going to be his first ever submission victory. A fantastic he performance. He is now the first Irish-born fighter in MMA history. Out of Dublin, Ireland, the new featherweight champion of the world, the Notorious Cutter. against a very seasoned opponent. He would win Cage Warrior titles at both lightweight and featherweight. The first European to ever do it. There's obviously a few of you on and you have said that your goal <coughs> is to get into the bigger, yeah. bigger organization. Do you yeah. think the call is... Yeah, I'd hope so. I'd hope so, yeah. Next fight will be... I don't know, we'll see what happens, you know what I mean? Just keep positive and again, keep believing, keep training. Eventually, you put in the performances, you put in the work, you put in the hours, and the UFC brass take note, and then, and then you get the call up to the big show. The success and personality of McGregor caught the eye of UFC president Dana White. The UFC is the premier organization, it's number one. There is no other organization where you can make a sustainable living. Connor was tapped by the UFC to fight Marcus. When I said we were going to get to the UFC, my, myself and my team were going to get to the UFC. It was one of the rare occasions that I felt a little bit nervous, you know, it's his first time. And I remember like holding the banner over and he walked over to me to ask for a little sip of water. He took a sip of water, handed it back and said, I feel no different. It's just another day at the gym. Marcus Brimage, Connor McGregor, and here we go. Out of Connor's 12 wins, 11 are not Connor with an uppercut there, Kenny. The knockout would net McGregor a $60,000 bonus. Just last week I was connecting the social welfare, you know what I mean? I, I know how to... Conor McGregor's energy and personality are as gripping as some of his mixed martial art holes. The Dublin native's popularity exploded in this country last year with his MMA feats, and that has led him to being the most searched sports personality on Google in Ireland throughout 2013. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Conor's just so relaxed in there, man. It's amazing. This is his second UFC fight, very high profile, and look how calm he is in there. His style was tactical aggression. A relentless, crowd-pleasing assault of unconventional kicks and precision targeting. He throws with no wind-up. You see, he's throwing these kicks. He's, there's no switch. There's no step. Look at this wild stuff. Jumping, switch kick. 
with a dominant performance here tonight in Boston against Max Holloway. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Conor McGregor. Okay, huh? You hear that? That's not normal, man. It's crazy. I don't think anybody realized it would be such a big event. We did an eight-page pullout that week. Imagine doing that for MMA. It certainly wouldn't have happened last year or the year before. Well, just like any sport, personality makes stars, and Conor McGregor certainly has plenty of star power. It wasn't long before the UFC put Conor on pay-per-view. fans, this is the main event of the evening! Do you think it's going to take you long? Um, I, I, I don't see him getting out of the first round, to be honest. Okay. There he is. He's a, he's not the best looking guy. I'm not, you know what I mean? But I, I wanted a, a better looking opponent, but it, it is what it is. I speak the truth. I, I, I've spoken about Dustin's weird, weirdly shaped head. He has a, sh a P-shaped head. <laughs> His bold trash talk and over-the-top antics made him stand out among a crowd of exceptional athletes. That's not going to be good. You know, I'm going to crack him with a jab and uh, he's going to wobble and I'm going to put him away early. It's going to be a first round KO. Mark my words. His ability to back up that trash talk with results would make him a global icon. It is. It's personal and it's business. It's a it's a grudge match. I don't like Ladies this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. And I thought he wasn't getting in my head, and he might have been. You know, looking back at it now, I, I don't know. I, I wanted to hurt him. I was aggravated and, and mad all the time. You know. You know I... Don't get me wrong. I like the kid. He's a quiet little hillbilly from the back ass of nowhere. You know, I've nothing against the guy. You know what I mean? I'm sure he grew up in a, in, a, in, a, in a circus or a fair, you know, he's a nice little kid. His cousin's probably named Cletus or something. I don't know. He's a nice kid. A lot of times I would find myself, like, being angry at him or thinking about him. You're not, I'm not fighting. Man, they have been on each other's nerves for weeks. 90 seconds in. Right in front. He's talking to him. Oh, yeah. Hands at his hips. It clipped him right behind the ear. It's a fine line between charisma and obnoxious boasting. One McGregor seemed to walk effortlessly. He has an indescribable quality that makes him the biggest draw in the sport. Wow! <laughs> that was cute. Conor McGregor. McGregor! Dennis Seaver. See how calm Seaver is through the whole thing. One of the reasons that makes him. Dennis Seaver is getting busted up. I mean, Conor McGregor is making a very strong argument that he is as special as he says he is. The angles that McGregor 
is able to utilize your outstanding. This fight is seconds away from being stopped. That's it. Was McGregor tore over the top of the cage, went right down into the front row, got right in Aldo's face. Aldo looked at him and smiled. Aldo's enjoying this. This is awesome. His resting heartbeat never changed at all. Oh, he's got a beautiful smile on his face. He knows he's <laughs> going to make a lot of money with that kid. Yeah, and I have, I, like, I go home now. I'm, I'm eager to get home to my island as well. Your island? You mean Ireland? Yeah, it's mine. You can't walk down the street now anywhere in Ireland without being known. So of course, very disappointing to hear of uh, Jose's injury, the pound for pound number one, everyone wanted to see that fight, a lot of drive behind With it. With five UFC victories, Connor was next in line to battle Jose Aldo. 145 for Mr. McGregor! But Aldo was injured in the lead up to the fight. When I look at Connor, I see dollar signs in my bank account. You know, Connor, I match up horrible for this guy. Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. So, so instead, Connor was pitted against Chad Mendez, a world class grappler for the interim world title. Although we are known as the Fighting Irish, in boxing, in boxing terms, we have a rich hi history in boxing, but not in mixed martial arts. True fighting, a full fight. We had zero history, zero impact. But where I come from, we're not supposed to climb to these heights. We're told that. It's instilled in us. Uh, and I wanted to break that mold and, and, and pave the way, open up paths. Now, now my nation's flag is on the UFC belt. They released a new belt. The questions remained. Could Connor's flashy and dynamic striking style hold up against a wrestler of Mendez caliber? Mendez tested Connor early, taking him down multiple times in the first round and opening a cut over the Irishman's eye. Tell you what, Conor McGregor can take a punch. He sure can. He also holds his hands really low. Well. McGregor not only persevered, he retaliated. Mendez had taken his best shot on the ground, but McGregor escaped. If you're in the game, Make sure you're in it all the way, all in with it, and then that game will be your game. Boom, perfect timing. I'm only young, Tony, you know, I'm still learning, learning the game. Yeah. And I don't claim to know it all. But what I do know, I know it damn well, you know, and I'm continuing to learn and continuing to push on. gold belt is what I want. The two gold belts. I was a two-weight world champion in the previous organization. Now I'm on the big stage at the UFC. I want that featherweight belt and I want that lightweight yeah, belt. There's no doubt that this is the biggest featherweight matchup ever in history. The dream fight against Aldo was finally on. Yeah. 
that was the first time that anybody ever really disrespected Aldo. Because yeah. Aldo was the man for so long. Aldo hadn't been beaten in over a decade. This is the main event of the It evening. would be the largest event in UFC the history. I thought I thought Aldo was gonna win. Back then we didn't Did know you really? we didn't know much about Connor, I feel like at that point, you know. Undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world. Jose Aldo Junior. Here we go. And jo Jose Aldo is the perfect example. Aldo was so out of composure. Uh, Aldo charged at him. Stunning knockout was a statement win for Connor, who was now unquestionably the face of the UFC. I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. Okay? I would beat you when you uh, sign to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Connor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, what baby. What I can say about Connor is it's made him wealthy very quickly. It's made him talked about more than maybe any other fighter in the UFC right now. You know, um, I don't have a problem with Connor. Even though I didn't do much talking, I tried, my, I tried to have my actions do my talking for me in the octagon. But when you listen to the guy, he's actually pretty smart. You're a star among stars now, Connor. For the first time in his career, Connor would move up two weight classes to 170 in order to face off with Nate Diaz. Connor McGregor was scheduled to fight lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos March 5th in Vegas until Dos Anjos withdrew from the bout. You know, I've been beating the drum all week about I, I don't like him fighting at 170. You know, he'll probably come in at 167. Connor weighed 169. That's what he weighed when he weighed in. That's what he weighed during the fight. And they, they want him to fight at 55. He goes, no, 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 I can be at seven. Let me do seven. Nate weighed probably around 190. Nate Diaz! Connor McGregor! Fight's getting for five, five minute round. Well, he's most certainly the biggest star in MMA, and by a long shot. What he's been able to do in such a short period of time has been nothing short of magnificent. Whether Connor's knockout power would transfer to the higher weight division was the question. Connor the aggressor here early. Connor came out in round one the way he always did. Connor's busting Nate up. He dominated the action and bloodied Diaz. One. <laughs> in the books. All right, let's show them another round. There we go, full recovery. And he awesome. hit Nate with some of his best shots and Nate he was fine with it. He heard him, he heard him with that left. Connor was already fatigued. Oh, he tagged him with the good one there. He tagged him, he heard him. That landed on McGregor's chin. Submission. He got it! Couldn't do it! Diaz battered and submitted McGregor. Now he's got he's the back. Back. No! That's it! He's got the chance! Nate Diaz! He's got he 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 it! He 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 he's all over! Nate Diaz beats Conor McGregor! I was watching Nate beat him up on the ground and then choke him. I was like, Ooh. It was the first loss of his UFC career and ended his 15-fight win streak. Describe emotions after a loss like that. You know, it stings, it stings real bad, but this is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and uh, come back.
and is headlined by the rematch between the notorious Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. Revenge, revenge, redemption, retribution. My, my prediction. He knows it. it he knows that pain is the prediction. The guy steps in, he loses to Diaz, right? Takes the Diaz fight on short notice. Oh, by the way, after a staph infection. Here's something that a lot of people don't even know. He had a pretty significant staph infection. was on antibiotics until like, I think, two weeks before the fight. Mm -hmm. If you don't think that drains your gas tank, you never had a staph infection and you never had to take antibiotics. Nothing external can, can, can defeat the internal. Well, the only yes. thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Connor's training methods are anything but traditional. Work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. Just that he was obsessive about it. He was going to do nothing else all day, every day, other than train. Movement and balance are key components in the Irishman's regiment. That hurts me just looking at it. Despite many doubting Connor would win at the 170 welterweight level, Connor insisted on a rematch. McGregor! Diaz! Transcending weight classes is not something that other UFC fighters are even willing to try, let alone succeed at. Here we go! Brutal leg kicks he's landing on Nate. Connor started with relentless leg kicks. He was also much more controlled, clearly preserving his energy for later rounds. Uh, I'll fight Nate at 70. I'll, I'll 45, sure, I'll murk Aldo in 13 seconds. one nothing, McGregor. Very different than the first round of their first fight. Did not blow himself out. And I'll come to 55. Like, we've never seen this kind of creativity. If he couldn't knock out Diaz, he would outskill him and take him the distance. Connor looks perfect thus far. Connor was breathing very heavy in between rounds, and we're moving in to round number three. Much more calculated in this fight, Joe, and still breathing heavy. Yep. Even the best laid plans often go afoul. Connor is fading radically here. Nate is sensing Connor McGregor getting tired. And he's starting to put pressure on Connor. Defending in this kind of clinch battle is brutal and draining. Final seconds of the round. Just trying to survive. Wow. Huge round for Nate Diaz. And this much anticipation for a fight. It's absolutely wonderful when the fight is like the one we're watching right now, Joe.
you. You got a lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? Right here. They're not who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? Next, McGregor would drop back down to 155 to battle for the lightweight championship of the world against Eddie Alvarez. Guys, it took an awful long time for the UFC to touch down in New York, and it comes down to Madison Square Garden. Three title fights on the line, and Conor McGregor tonight does something nobody else has done, hold two title belts at the same time. Here we go! Well, it looked like Eddie, the moment he got hit, was like, what the... You could see on his face, he was like, holy... McGregor did not disappoint the New York fans. He dictated the action against Alvarez, smashing him repeatedly with precision shots from his left hand. And then the accuracy of that combo that finally finished Eddie, that's what I think makes Conor so special is his accuracy when he throws punches. winning two belts he was now known as the champ champ i won the two belts the first two ever done it the first two ever and still the only two ever do it yes. unified yes. there's yes. been interim double champions but that's not unified double yeah. champions i'm yeah. the only unified champ champ the champ champ exactly <laughs> exactly the og champ champ where the f is my second belt i've already got this one where's the second one at Cheap. i just want to say from the bottom of my heart i'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs. The Mayweather's. One, two, three. At the height of his superstardom, Connor capitalized by taking part in the most profitable fight in history. Pay-per-view sales will likely be the largest ever. Mayweather, the overwhelming favorite, is eyeing a two to three hundred million dollar payday. Earning over one hundred million dollars for the fight, Connor would try his hand at boxing. The notorious Connor McGregor! Floyd of money! The fight drew a ton of interest, as both Connor and Floyd were masters of the pre-fight hype game. We're talking about a billion dollar fight. We're talking about a billion dollar fight. Uh, Connor McGregor, so the biggest, the biggest boxing fight I think in history just happened, what, a week ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. But in reality, it was in fact more spectacle and less of an actual contest. There was no real chance for a UFC fighter to outbox one of the greatest boxers ever. Just as there was no chance Floyd could enter the octagon versus any professional UFC fighter and survive the first minute. In the end, both men made out like bandits. He, well, I went in on his terms. I fought him under his rules. Um, originally, the promise was I'll fight him his game. He fights me my game. Yeah. Mm, I haven't heard of him since. I haven't heard of him since. <laughs> With more money than any UFC fighter could ever hope to earn, Connor was now in a state of limbo. Why fight in the octagon again? Why risk the injury with little to gain? His life is so chaotic. He's always filled with so many distractions. Not good, though. No. I mean, he might, he literally might wind up, wind up in jail. It's entirely possible that New York's going to prosecute him. All right. All right. He threw a dolly at a car. People yeah. got their eyes cut and face cut. I just want to say I'm thankful to the DA and the judge for allowing me to move forward. The fame and constant media presence began to affect McGregor. Thank you for the support. Thank you. His antics increasingly ramped up resulting in legal troubles. 
After a very bitter and ugly back and forth with Khabib, the fight was set. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash your boy. It was the highest purchase pay-per-view UFC fight ever. As the fans flocked to see if Connor could return from his absence and recapture the title he vacated. However, Khabib was a new beast. Undefeated. No signs of a weakness in his game. Connor was unable to stay on his feet, and on the ground, Khabib was in a class of his own. The defeat was made worse by the post-fight altercation, where Khabib jumped into the crowd and attacked Connor's trainer. And now Khabib jumps the fence. No, 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 Whoa! No, no. And he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Mayhem! Oh no! That right hand, the wayward right hand from a teammate inside the octagon after losing a mixed martial arts fight. No, that was disgusting. It was two things disgusting. Khabib jumping out of the octagon and attacking Dylan Dennis was foolish. But but Khabib's friends jumping into the octagon and attacking Connor, who had no idea that they were there, just jumped on him. It was completely cowardly. With the loss, the legend of Connor seemed to be coming to a close. Many thought he'd never enter the octagon again. As his life spiraled, from one misstep after another, his presence in the consciousness of the sport didn't fade. Connor would return. I don't say naysayers, because I'm not a Conor McGregor naysayer. I had, a, I had Conor McGregor questions going into this fight. Cowboy is a legend. He is a as tough as they come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. You're talking about a guy who has the most fights in the UFC, the most finishes in the UFC, the most head kick knockouts in the UFC. Connor stormed out and implemented the rarely used tactic of shoulder striking. And then Connor countered with a head kick. The rest was just a formality. 40-second knockout by Connor McGregor over Donald Cerrone. And then Connor hits him with pistons. He hits so him. hard. He broke his orbital bone. Yeah. As a number of potential next matchups present themselves, one thing is for sure. Connor is still the biggest draw in the sport, and as long as he is fighting, he is the 